This is your zone. Yes, but this is my, my clubhouse. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to another Declutter with Friends episode. Today I'm with my beautiful friend, Jen. She lives in San Francisco in a very tiny one bedroom apartment with her husband. You'll see she has a Stairmaster, an upright base, a couple of tables, a sofa that's L-shaped in this very tiny living room that has basically become her zone. Her husband's taken over the bedroom, so she's taken over this room, but the problem is she can't actually access any of the things in it. So it's supposed to be her zone to work out, but she never uses the Stairmaster because she can't get to it. She never uses her upright base because there's no room for her to take it out and actually practice. So we're gonna make some unconventional decisions today. You may or may not agree with what we decided to get rid of, but something big had to go. And so we did what we could. And bottom line is at the end of everything, she was happy with it. We started by taking things out of the main room and bringing it into the hallway so we could have that as our clear workspace to do some decluttering from. Stay tuned and you'll see how it all turned out and you can let us know your opinions at the end. We started by clearing off this zone here. We're gonna try angling the couch in a different direction. We have all of the pillows over here. And then down here in this hallway, we just put some of the stuff that we're gonna start sorting through. So we've got that stuff here. We've got stuff in the kitchen. Small space living. We definitely had to try out different things. It's a lot of trial and error when you're figuring out how to configure a room of this size and make it in a way that she's actually going to be able to use the space. So we're testing things out and yeah, we definitely had a lot of fails. I could watch it put the base in the corner and see how it fits. Yeah, let's see what it looks like. We tried out the base here in this corner. It's not quite right. No. It can't get squished. Room. Like this part is really delicate. This front part will get smashed. Yeah, so we're gonna keep the bookcase here. We'll still go through it and clear it out. And we're gonna move the base back into that corner. Move this over this way so that the Stairmaster isn't sticking out like that and put it look like kind of against the wall. That's our, that's our game plan, that's what we're thinking. This is where all the stuff ends up. <laughs> That's where that lip gloss was. Has, has to go. Okay, like take it. Which one would you get rid of though? Okay. That's the question. Okay, let me see. Okay, this, this works. Oh, it does it? In terms of space, it's either keep it and we put it back the way that it was. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't really solve anything. It doesn't give you any more space. Yeah. Or be ruthless. Be ruthless. Be bold. Be bold and give yourself this, you said space. You'll have a lot more space if you get rid of one of these. So I can bulky items. Fu function. So I can actually use the use stairmaster the and want. use yes. the base because I never yes. pull it out. That was kind of what I knew I had to do it. Yeah. I, it's so hard to move this stuff. I can't. But I I can, I'm here. I'll help you move it okay. out. Let's move okay. Let's move it out. Okay. Let's get it all the way out there. Okay. So we'll pick it up. Which one? Which we, one? We put on Craigslist. Which one would you? Are you gonna feel more comfortable in this room with? I'm thinking this one. The depth is good for like sitting mm -hmm. to watch TV. Whereas that not as you just have to, you have to do, do like, like that. This yeah. Time. So yeah, of the two, I would keep this one. I, can, I don't can, even need to get a new I couch right now. The set. It's better than getting a new couch, mm -hmm. and it gives you the space that you'll actually use the room and make it more functional. All right. Yeah. Okay. So we got to move this out. All right. <laughs> I am recommitting to my healthy food plan. Factor is helping me get back on track. I had a month of travel and just not being at home very much, and I am so thankful to be getting back to basics. I have my portion controlled lunch today. I follow this low carb lifestyle. I don't eat sugar and flour. I've been living like that for. A very long time but my problem is quantity and i can start to over
overeat even healthy foods and that does not do me any favors. I really need to eat clean, I need to eat simple. Factor helps me stick to my goals. Whether you're trying to go low carb like me or maybe you wanna do a vegan thing. They have 34 chef prepared, dietitian approved weekly options. I want my healthy eating to be automatic for me so I set myself up for success by having my fridge stocked with factor meals so no matter when I'm in a bind, in a rush, don't have time to cook or grocery shop or meal prep or meal plan, factor saves the day and the food is outstanding. The price is better than if I were to go out to eat at a restaurant, if I had a private chef, or if I were gonna order takeout, I get all the benefits, but at a fraction of the cost. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code thecarlaproject50 for 50% off your first factor box. That's factor75.com or you can click the link below and use code thecarlaproject50 to get 50% off your first factor box. Thank you Factor for sponsoring today's video and we're back to it. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Doesn't that feel good? Oh. <laughs> and we help someone, has a new home, you get your space. Yes! Uh, now we can really make some moves. No, the real vision was like, I wanted a new couch, but I don't know. Hey, this is like having a new couch, yeah. you know? It's pretty close. That's what we should do is stack them and put them in that corner. Mm -hmm. Let's go through the step and see what you want to keep and what you want to discard. What's that stuff? This is project stuff, like stuff that we used to put up these little shelves that did not get put away properly and we just shoved it in the closet. Okay. Where do you want those things to live or are they okay. things that you still need? Um, I guess technically I can just put this all in the garbage can. It's all well, trash? Well. Are you, are you keeping these? Oh, that's Christmas stuff. Let me see. Holiday bingo. Oh, holiday bingo. Oh, okay, I'm gonna keep this. Trash, these will go with your Christmas decor. Mm -hmm. Anything trash put in here. Do you these things? You can always use this, a leveler. Do you have a toolbox? Let me get one. Or if you have a Ziploc bag, you can put it all together in a Ziploc bag. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay. Shouldn't everybody have a sleeping bag? Do you camp? I don't have a sleeping bag. Just in case that one day. Isn't that, is that the anti-point of what we're doing? I mean, also, like, I don't know. If people come over, you're like, here's a sleeping bag. Here's <laughs> a sleeping bag. They're like, thanks a lot. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, okay. Would you the sheets? Okay, oh, yeah, let's do the sheets. One of these you were getting rid of, not, was it? We don't need a fitted one. No, you don't. Okay, so I'll let's keep donate this one. This one. Call this scavenger. Okay. Pillowcases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Just. Why is it not closing? Maybe it just doesn't close. Okay. You gotta use all your cute purses, though. They're, they're cute. They are cute, right? They're so cute. You don't yeah. want to wear them? Uh, sometimes I remember I have them. I'm like, oh, yeah, let me. Yeah, I like, the I like these Hello Kitty one in the summer. Oh yeah, I have those other ones. that are some like travel bags. Mhm. Mm okay. That so I like to use when I like go see my parents trip. or something. Yeah. So you know that this bin is purses and then just your extra blankets. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we can squeeze this in the closet. 
Softball jacket from high school. No way. Oh, we were the Knights too. Really? Yeah. I wish I still had my um, cheerleading uniform. That's really? the only thing I really regret like, ever decluttering. This is the only thing I think I still have. That's so like, cool. It's so good. I can't get rid of it. No, that's a good one. Before we have this up top, but mm -hmm. I think we can fit it at the bottom. Okay. And then use the top for more storage. Okay. This. Can we fit it sideways? Um, if we put it upside down, th this one that goes in the front usually. Yeah, if you put it, like scoot this a little more over. Then yeah, so like that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe on the side. Okay. I have a couple of bridesmaids dresses. Like you never know, right? <laughs> you never know, bridesmaids dresses in your closet. No. <laughs> You're not like, oh, look, you can wear this one again. Right? <laughs> like, I will say. Whoever wears exactly, because it never actually happened. Can we put up here to clear up some space for you? Sleeping bag. Okay, let's grab the sleeping bag. For now. Oh, it's just like a giant Ziploc bag. Mm -hmm. wow. Anything else that can go in here? I think What's just in these here? blankets just... when we're not using them. Just yeah, let's do that. It. house we love hug laugh a lot dream big or grateful have fun cheer for the Steelers Steeler household <laughs> can't just throw away everything that belongs to the husband <laughs> can we ah! <laughs> are we hiding it in the closet yeah okay <laughs> and then one day it mysteriously <laughs> never hear from it again never exactly. to be seen again <laughs> <laughs> Closet's looking good. Okay, so let's try this basket that you grocery shop with and see if it fits in there. Is that what you take to the grocery store? Um, to the laundry. Oh, laundry, okay. okay. Perfect. Yay, it closes. Get that on camera. <laughs> Sometimes you find things you actually need. You Didn't know you had them. Oh, you know what? This is why. Oh, that's why they were in the I bag. I can't need to return them because the they, had, they forgot to take <laughs> this thing off. How long ago was it? <laughs> Let's see what the receipt says. <laughs> 2522. So a year, a little over a year ago. Okay. Well, it's it. never too late. Okay. <laughs> Base fits in that corner. So for now, we have the stairmaster next to the closet, coffee table set up here, sofa in the corner, base in that corner. We're gonna do this zone, clean it out, organize it. This zone, clean it out, organize it, and move the last of the things back in here that we're keeping her amplifiers and her instrument. Oh, and the rug. And the rug. Forgot about that. success in all areas of my life i'm thankful for all the opportunities i've been given has it been on here a while yeah oh, did you paint this room uh zach painted some of it when he added the shelves he made a bunch of holes in the wall uh -huh. So he covered them up oh, I see. and painted over them. So 
So Jen and I met at music school over two decades ago. She is a very talented bass player. And about 10 years ago, I was up in San Francisco hanging out with her. We were at a bar late one night and she told me and my friend Kelly that she thought the guy who worked the door at this bar was really cute. And we told her she needs to go up and talk to him. So she did. And now 10 years later, they are happily married. I was at her wedding a few years ago and it's just such a cool love story. You just never know who you're gonna bump into that could end up being the future love of your life. Be bold, be ruthless. That's our theme for today. We organized the bookshelf into different categories. So one section has all of her records. Another section has her music autobiographies. Another one has all of her puzzles and games. And it was fun to break it up like that because it makes it really easy to find anything at any given moment. The TV stand, we just needed to clear it, wipe it down, dust it, clear all the tchotchke from it, give it a reset, and it's refreshed. I just can't give up on this plant. He's hanging song. in there. It's not dead yet. See, Zach put the fork in there. <laughs> like put a fork in me, I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> that you won't be mine. for a long time. It's what I knew had to be done. We had to get rid of the big couch. Had to get rid of it. Like this small of a space, mm -hmm. even if we tried to declutter little tiny things, it wasn't gonna make a big difference with mm -mm. a giant piece of furniture in here. And she, she wants her Stairmaster. Stairmaster or yeah. lounge? I still have hope yes. that I'm gonna get on that. That's so. getting used <laughs> in 2023. Exactly. <laughs> so. I'm not ready to quit that just yet. It's a tiny apartment, tiny space, two people living here. I yeah. like that you have access to your base now too, because before she wants to use this as like a practice room, mm -hmm. really. It was in the corner. I had to like move things out of the way, pick it up. I didn't really practice too much. But now you will. Yes. I love it. I love it too. It's perfect. Leave a comment and I'll see you in next week's video. Bye. Bye. We did it! Carla, we did good it. job! I yes! I'm so happy you love it! This is the life. I mean, what more do you need in this world? A cozy couch, all your pillows. Ugh.